Hi everyone. We have recently updated Aeris Hybrid Choir Designer with over 160 brand new performance patch presets and pad patch presets. So we thought this would be a good time to give you an in-depth look at really what makes Aeris a creative and unique virtual instrument. So if you're not already familiar with what Aeris is, we have recorded multi-sample choirs and solo singers and combined them with our movement and effects section, giving you a vast amount of sound design possibilities using these samples. So we're just gonna dive right into playing some of these sounds and see what we can create with the movement and effects sections. So on this performance patch, we have the ooze loaded up here. And of course I can change that to the ahs, oh, and also humming as well. And I can do that for any of the singers right now. You can see this is the male and female choir loaded up. And um, you can also use the mod wheel to add a little vibrato to it. But let's go ahead and load up the movement section. Now the movement section is really where you can start to get creative. There are four different LFOs here on the left side, which you can apply to volume, pan, pitch, and three different cutoffs. So you can then uh, put one, say, to a, a, a filter, another one to a pan, another one to tune, and another one to whatever you like from there. And then you can combine them all. And then on the right side, and again, you can combine this with the LFOs, are two different sequencers, which can be applied to the same different parameters as well. So let's start to add some of these to the performance patch. Here's a little panning we can add. And then a little subtle pitch tuning if you want it to be more dramatic. But I just want a little bit here. And then we'll load up this filter, uh, turn it on here. And then we can change the rate here. Let's go faster with that. You can change the amount of that filter as well. And then we can also switch out things like the reverb here envelope and then we can load up uh, let's load up a delay And then with all these effects on here already, we can switch these out. Let's load up the tenor, bass, alto, and soprano. We can also view these in overlap mode, which we are right now, or separately. So if you wanted to be able to just play some of the alto here, you could do that in this color. Here's your tenor and then soprano up in this top section. The very bottom is where you can change on the fly which vowels they're singing. Cha, humming. So let's quickly look over really quick at how this works in the pads engine. So the pads patch here is loaded up and you have two different engines so you can load up two separate sounds. All these sounds that are in here have been created uh, from the samples that we recorded from both the solo and choir samples. So I'm just gonna solo this first engine here. This is a pad called Atlantis and then let's solo uh, engine B here. So just really beautiful sounding pads in here. You have a lot of different categories to choose from. Calm, uplift, distorted, tension, motion, and effects. We'll look at some of the presets uh, in a little bit uh, for both the performance and the pads patch, but let's just again show you how you, we can take both of these engines and use the movement section in, in here. Now, engine A has its own movement section. Engine B also has its own movement section. So you can apply multiple LFOs to each one independently. So for Atlantis, we'll solo it again here. And we'll just turn on uh, this LFO of a bandpass cutoff. Let's try it with this uh, sawtooth shape. And then let's do a volume automation here with the sequencer.
And if you want to get started uh, with just a preset for either of these, you can click on this icon here. And we have a lot of different presets in here that you can choose from. So let's turn on Heartbeat and see what that is. And then we also have presets here in the step sequencer. And then as I've mentioned, we can do this both independently for both sides. So now we can unsolo that and try something with this delicate one. And let's use these presets for that as well. Let's turn this one down a little bit and on. And then if we want to try out a different sound, we can do that as well. Let's go. And really quickly get to something very uh, unique and interesting just by simply using the movement section in the pad section. Third patch that's included in Eris is our user patch. So let's switch over to that real quick. And in here, if you have the full version of Contact, you can take one of your own samples and use the processing that Eris provides with your own samples. So we'll drop this on a note here and then we'll just change the mode there and now here is a pad that we have uh, from our computer and you can use the same movement and uh, LFO sequencer section here. Okay, let's go back to the performance page and let's look at some of the new presets that we've created. So we'll go ahead and click over to our performance patch presets here. And let's try a couple of these here. So let's load up Angel Ascension. So you can see here we have the alto and soprano loaded up on this. And let's see what uh, effects we've included on here. So there's a volume LFO happening, a little bit of a tuning happening. Uh, there are some uh, delay being applied as well as um, a lot of this really nice atmosphere reverb. Okay, let's click over to the shorts and let's load up distorted single note delay. See what that sounds like. And let's go to the motion folder and let's load up uh, Jump 8 to see what that sounds like. And let's see what's creating this here. So we have a panner going, and then there's two step sequencers working on tune and volume. And then probably some effects going on here as well. Yes, another delay on. And then with this uh, setup we have, you can again change which parts you have loaded up. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off these solo singers and try this with the choir. Okay, let's look at one more from the motion folder here. Let's do lo-fi ARP. Let's see what we're using to create this. So there's a couple of different tuners happening on here, both in the LFO 
and um, in the step sequencer, and then using delay a screamer to get that kind of uh, lo-fi quality to it. I turn it off. And then a stereo spreader. Let's go now to the motion distorted folder here. And let's try distorted bounce groove. And again, with all of these presets as well, the uh, mod wheel is still active and you can use uh, the vibrato transition. So even though you don't really sound like a choir any longer with what we've done to uh, the processing on here, you still get a different character by switching between the non-vibrato and vibrato samples. Let's try distorted lead here. And you hear what that sounds like. Okay, and then let's go to Motion Subtle. And let's try Escaping Air. Okay, let's switch back over to our pads now and check out some of the presets that are in there as well. So we'll go over to our pads here, pad presets, and let's listen to some of the calm presets. Now again, these will combine now two different sounds as well as both movement effects and our effects section here. Let's go to some shorts here. So you can hear really, uh, we've come a long way from the uh, normal samples that you would have heard in the performance patch of just the straight recordings of any of the solo singers or choirs. And really you're hearing really brand new types of sounds now, especially using these pads. So let's keep looking at um, these. We'll go to the distorted folder here and try out uh, uh, Roaming the Tundra. about electric ocean. And about scorching sun.
And let's switch over from distorted to tension. And something is out there. About train to hell. Really would be great in a cinematic cue. You need to just create tension. Um, just droning something low from that. Let's try our motion folder here and go to dystopia. And rhythmic. Here, let's do um, future. And finally, our effects folder here in the pad presets. Let's try Bewitched, very first one here. <laughs> So it still has a musical quality to that one. And one more here, set to stun. So as you can see in here, Eris really provides fresh and inspiring, unique sound design possibilities with vocal samples. So I hope you learned a little bit more about what this library can do, and I hope you have a great day.